what is AdBrain? AdBrain is a powerful tool that allows one object to also run the brain of other objects. This is a concept known as multi-brains, but AdBrain is the easiest piece to understand, so let's give you a few examples of how to use AdBrain. So we have a little character here, and what we want to do is give this character some enemies. So we're going to drop some goblins down here. Let's uh, drop down five goblins. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. Now each of these goblins has a different brain running inside of it, so we can jump inside of a goblin and see that it has this melee enemy brain uh, that's allowing it to attack the character. So the thing that can be challenging is if you decide to change the characteristics of each of these goblins, you're going to have to go into every one of their brains and change that. Instead, you could use AdBrain to kind of centralize their behaviors and add it after the fact. So let's show what that looks like. So let's bring in a logic cube. Let's just uh, place it right next to these goblins for now. And we're going to call this logic cube goblin brain. And now we're going to take one of these goblin brains, go ahead and copy the page, and put it inside of this logic cube. Now what we can do is we can go in each of these goblin brains and delete their code. Now that the code's been deleted from all of these goblins, what they can actually do is they can reference this brain right here. And uh, we probably want to make this brain a template because we don't actually want this brain to be attacking the player or you know, thinking that it's its own enemy. So we make this a template so it's not actually in the world, it's just something people in the world can reference. So now we go inside of uh, one of our goblins. So we just add a simple line of code that is once, and on one side we go to brains, go to multi-brain, choose add brain, then go to objects, in world picker, and choose this logic cube. Now that adds the brain of that logic cube into this goblin. We copy that one line of code, and we can now put it in all of our goblins. And so what this does is at the very beginning of the game, each goblin is having this brain added inside of it. So we jump into test, and now these goblins, you know, they attack us just like before. But say, you know, I'm playing around, and I notice that, you know, it's taking them a long time to hit me. They they have too much of a delay before they actually hit me, making them a bit too easy. So the great thing about this approach with AdBrain is we have this one centralized brain that all of our goblin enemies reference. We can go inside of it, and we can just change a few things here. So let's say on line 8, it has, it has this pause attack uh, of 1 to 3 seconds. Let's just change that to 0 to uh, 1 seconds. And we go back into test. And now all of our goblins have that behavior that I changed. Alright, the second example to show you is how to use AdBrain to add additional brains on top of a player who already has certain brains running. So in this example we have this gate right here, and we're going to have our player unable to jump until he passes this gate. You know, this gate might be the entry into the world. So what we want to first do is inside of this gate, we do uh, win started to in trigger zone player. Then we say that this player's boolean, we're going to call this jump, is equal to true. We're going to reference that boolean with adding a brain. So the next step is we want to create a new brain here with this logic cube. So let's put this logic cube here. Let's uh, call this logic cube jump. And the only thing we want to add in here is when A is pressed to jump. We also want to make this a template. And that's really important because you don't want logic cubes actually doing the in-world behaviors. You just want them referenced by in-world objects. And to do that, you make them a template. So now we just simply have in our player, we look for when started to and that Boolean jump, then do, we go over to brains, go to multi-brain, choose add brain, go to objects, in-world picker, and choose that brain we want to add. So we choose it, 
And just like that, we have a new behavior added to our character when something in the game happens. Now this is pretty simple what we're doing, we're just making them jump, but you can imagine making this brain a full new ability that gets added to the player when something in the world happens. So let's jump into test and show you what that looks like. So we're outside of this gate and you see that we are unable to jump. We go inside of here and as soon as we walk through we can jump again. So there are just two really quick examples of how to use AdBrains to make some pretty powerful things happen inside of Project Spark. You can uh, use it to make much more complex things. We might get into multi-brains later, but now you know kind of how to use AdBrain. Try and use it in your Project Spark creations. Project Spark is where players create and creators play. What better way to be inspired than to see what's possible? This will surely spark your imagination. Now, how do we begin?